everyone, my name is Lauren and today we are going to be making a fall infused vodka. I like to use this vodka for fall cocktails. It's absolutely delicious. It's got apples, oranges, and cinnamon and all things fall. So if you wanna learn how to make it, stay tuned. Mm. couple of ingredients we're gonna need for our fall infused vodka. We're gonna need some oranges, apples, cinnamon sticks, a little bit of honey. I like to use some whole cloves because that is like the flavor of the season. And of course, vodka. And then you're gonna to wanna to get a decanter. I actually picked this decanter up from Target uh, in their dollar spot, but it wasn't a dollar, it was $5 and it has a kind of cork top. So you want something where you can seal it off so all of the ingredients can infuse together. So we're gonna go ahead and use this as our, our decanter, our base, and we're gonna chop up all of our fruits and then we're gonna fill it with our honey and vodka and let it sit. So first we're gonna cut our orange and we wanna cut it into smaller slices. It's pretty good. So we're gonna cut it in half and maybe even fourths. Depending on how big your decanter is, you're gonna to wanna to use probably uh, two oranges. Cut it in eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our orange pieces in there. And then next we're gonna add apple. And again, we're gonna cut this into small slivers so they can fit into the, the decanter. You're not gonna need that many apples. These are just our classic gala apples. You can always use a Granny Smith apple as well. So next we're gonna add honey and I'm, honestly, I'm gonna eyeball it, but it's about two ounces and we're going to pour this into our decanter. I'd say two good squeezes should be enough. And then we're going to add our cinnamon sticks. So I only have three. Cinnamon is very strong. You don't need that much. So we're adding these three. And then the last ingredient you're gonna use is a pinch of cloves. And so honestly, these are probably like eight cloves that I have here. And we're gonna add those. And that is gonna be our base for our fall infused vodka. The final ingredient, the most important ingredient is the vodka. So let's pour. Take our vodka until it reaches the top. And for it to actually infuse, it's gonna take probably about 48 hours. And you'll be able to start smelling all of the fruits in it because the alcohol is gonna be breaking it down. We're gonna put our lid on it and that is it. And you're gonna be able to see everything starting to blend. It's gonna get darker in color and that's how you know it's gonna get really good. So this is our final product. We have our oranges, apples, cloves. We've got some honey in here and we have our cinnamon sticks. Every couple of days you wanna go in and kinda of turn it, stir it a little bit, just so all of the fruit are infused. We're gonna tie off our fall infused vodka. If you have a recipe card, you can always attach it. I'm not gonna attach it, I'm just gonna use the color of the season, which is red, a red uh, tulle ribbon. And we're gonna tie it off. But I'm going to leave a delicious recipe in the description box for you to be able to make your own fall cocktail using our fall infused vodka. And if you decide to make it, be sure to tag me. I would love to see it and I hope you enjoy. Cheers.